Uh, so if I finish my dishes, uh, now I've got a little bit of time to hang out with my puppy and I just want to kind of hang out and relax and enjoy her as a pet and not do play, uh, not do any sort of active obedience training. Um, I still want to keep the leash on so that I can coach her if she starts getting rowdy. All right, I'm going to show you which, what I mean by that. Now also, as we're transitioning, good, to go hang out in the living room, I want to make sure that she doesn't make any mistakes along the way. Right, there's a lot of, uh, I've got a young son, so there's a lot of uh, kid toys around and uh, things that are a little bit attractive to young puppies. So as she starts trying to go for stuff, the leash is on, I can block her as we transition out of this and go into doing something else. So um, I'm gonna pay her one last time. Good job, Rain, let's go. And we're gonna walk into the living room. Nope, good. Right, so she tried to play with the ball, it's not hers. I let her know, don't do that. Now we're gonna go hang out on one of the dog beds because uh, I wanna get her used to learning that she can kind of relax in one of these spots. Uh, eventually I'll transition the place command into this, uh, but for now uh, it's just gonna be a place where I can teach her that we're gonna chill here. You can also do this on your couch, you can do this on uh, the floor in your living room. It doesn't really matter where you do it. Um, I just like to do this to teach her, like at some point you're gonna be hanging out here. Nope, good. And uh, I want you to learn how to chill, not eat the bed like she was just trying to do. Uh, so I'm going to get down with her. Nope. Good girl. And I'm going to start interacting with her. Easy. Easy. So I'll use the leash. If she gets a little nutty, I'll just apply a little bit of pressure. Relax. Good. Shh. Hey. Relax. Hey. Hey. Shh. Relax. Good. I don't have to, she doesn't have to be entirely like chill and like laying down, but I don't want her hopping around uh, trying to bite me. Uh uh. Trying to bite the bed. No. Relax. So I coach that. Right? And I use the leash. I just apply pressure when I need to. And then if she changes her behavior, I release that pressure. Right? So I keep my hands on the leash all the time as I interact with her. Right? If I'm petting her. Um, she decides to start snuggling with me, anything like that. Uh -uh. I keep my hands uh -uh, on the leash uh -uh, so that she learns what I do and don't want her to do. Hey, relax. Relax. Uh -uh. Relax. Good. Come here. Good job. And so I just use that little bit of leash pressure. It's just a light squeeze. I'm not, you don't have to do too much. Now if she's trying to pull through it. You got to kind of be a post. Uh -uh. But then uh, as soon as she changes her behavior to something closer that you want, then you uh, release that tension, right? And I'm using a slip lead here. You can very much do this with a martingale, uh, sometimes a flat collar, but you have to be careful about flat collars that they don't slip out of it. Uh, one of the things you don't want when you're coaching the dog is they slip out of the collar and start sprinting around your house because uh, that's not helpful. <laughs> what you're trying to do is teach them how to uh, interact with you calmly and you know appropriately. Uh, so if they get away from that and start sprinting around the house, uh, we send the wrong message. So uh, keeping my hands on the leash, using the leash as I want to. She's kind of checking out the environment. She's coming in for a calmer interaction. This is very good stuff. All right, so I like this. This is a good rain. I don't want crazy rain. Yeah, good girl. Hi, how you doing? Any kisses? Thank you. Good girl. All right, so you can see, um, hopefully that none of this is, don't edit any of that stuff out, Peyton. So um, from all the way at the beginning when I got down with her and she was going nuts to where she's at now, it's a much calmer demeanor. She's not necessarily scared of me, she's just calmer. Right, like I was like, don't do that, don't do that. Good job, like do these things. Reinforce the right moments. And uh, it teaches the puppy what you're looking for. And she keeps sniffing for food in my hoodie pouch because she knows it's there. But she's not gonna get any when she's looking for it. All right, I give her food when she does things correctly. We don't just give food out for free. We don't just give it for free. Good girl. Much better.
Now, this doesn't mean she's going to stay calm for a full five minutes, ten minutes, half hour. It just means I got to change right now. She could very much start trying to do stuff again. Uh -uh. And I have to be, pre uh -uh. I have to be prepared to block that and teach her what I don't want, right? Because they can oftentimes, especially dogs like her, can find um, just hanging out to be relatively boring and they want to just go, go, go. So if we don't block that, if we're not prepared, uh -uh, then um, they uh, turn that into uh, quite the challenge where you're chasing around the house, uh, tr trying to <laughs> uh, get your socks back or your shoes or pillows or blankets or whatever they end up getting a hold of, right? Like she's trying to eat this bed and like, it's not your bed to eat. Like these beds are for, you relax around these beds. We don't chew on them. And you got to teach her that directly. You can't just expect her to know that. And she won't actually get her own bed until she's probably closer to a year and a half or even two years old. Um, and when I mean her own bed, like a bed that she can be on unsupervised like in the crate or something like that because a lot of times when they're really young they try to play with these they find enjoyment and satisfaction out of squeezing these uh, shredding them up so if she starts developing that habit really young it turns into a big challenge for years and years so I don't give them that opportunity all the times that she's going to be on a bed for like the next year or so I'll be involved in it I'll be around so that if she starts doing something that I don't want, like chewing on it, scratching at it, trying to shred it up. I can address her for that, let her know I don't want that, and let her know what I am looking for, which is just, hey, we relax. Good job, Bubby.